First person shooters are one of the first games that game developers make. All you need is a controller, a gun model, enemies, and that's basically it. Usually you'd use a game engine like Unity or Unreal, but I'm going to make mine in Python. Now you're probably like, Mando, how are you going to make a 3D game in Python? I'll be using a game engine called Ursina. It's what I make all my games in and it's very easy to use. So, the first thing you need when making a first person shooter is a player controller, but I haven't seen anyone that has made a player controller that has velocity and momentum. Most of the controllers that have been made are really snappy and aren't very smooth, so I'm going to start with making my own controller. After a while, I finished the controller. It works by adding velocity when you hold a key down and then setting the movement to the velocity. Cool, so that works. Next, I wanted to add a rope or a grappling hook, but there was a problem. Ursina doesn't really have a physics engine, but it kind of does. You can use Panda3D's bullet physics library, but it's quite hard to use with Ursina when you know nothing about physics. So that means I have to write my own rope physics. Well, kind of. You might remember, probably not, that I made a tutorial about a year ago on how to make a grappling hook in Ursina. Except that's not really what I wanted here, I wanted more of a rope which you can swing around with. I ended up using something similar to the grappling hook in this video. See, the thing with my controller is that it's velocity based. So if you just add velocity when you're using the grappling hook, you swing. I was so surprised with how well this worked. Here's the result. I made a little sandbox level in Blender to test it out. Hey Mando, that kind of looks like crossing. An FPS isn't an FPS without S, so I added guns and enemies. The enemies work by looking at the player using the function look at. They then follow the player by adding the difference between their position and the player's position. When they get close, they shoot every few seconds and then the bullet checks if it has collided with the player. I also added sliding, which I didn't end up using that much, but it's still pretty fun to use. I know, that looks a lot like Carlson. Then I realised my game was too like Carlson, so I made a new map with islands and trees and clouds, and I added dashing. Dashing works by just moving the player forward a couple of metres and animating the FOV of the camera. I also added an ability bar. It works similarly to the health bar. It decreases when you're using the rope and when you're dashing, which stops you from avoiding enemies. Now, the pistol was looking pretty bad since I made it, so it was about time that I added more guns. First, I followed a tutorial on modeling a shotgun in Blender, and from there I made a new pistol, a rifle, and a minigun. I'm actually really surprised on how well these models came out. Importing models into Ursina is actually really easy. First, you create a new entity. To import the model, you set the model of the entity to the model you created. Then set the texture. Then you can add a collider and parentage to the camera. And boom, you have a minigun. Right, that's it for this devlog. I'll probably upload builds to itch when the game's more finished. But for now, see you in the next one. Hey Mando, is that not just like Carlson?